everyone who creates content needs their own studio, or at least a corner where you can shoot your videos. But the main problem is that at the start, it can be really expensive. Expensive light, expensive camera, microphones can also be costly. Therefore, in this Movavi Ideas video, together, we'll look at a few ideas that will help you to save money. We're gonna take expensive gear and compare it with wallet-friendly price options and see that, in fact, they are not much worse. My name is Arthur Weiner, subscribe, like in advance, and let's go. When you're building your studio, the filming location, one of the main things that needs to be done right away is, of course, lighting. And right now behind my back you see this big soft box that costs some money and we'll get back to it a little later. But look what the deal is. When you start something new, a YouTube channel, an account on TikTok, your most important goal at the moment is to start as soon as possible. Shoot as often as possible and make it on a regular basis. You should not sit and think what kind of lights there are, bicolor, RGB, what different indicators there are. This is not a pain in the neck you need to cope with now. You need to put yourself in this flow of content creation as quickly as possible. And the fastest and most affordable way to solve this problem is natural lighting. The video you're watching right now is illuminated only with the help of natural light. The most most ordinary window, a curtain to make the light a little softer, and that's it. There are no more lighting tools here. And the depth is created automatically. The foreground, that means the face is bright, the background is slightly dimmed, and this happens by itself simply because of the construction of the window. And don't take it just as some kind of an amateur way of solving such a problem. There, I, I saw some YouTuber, he has cool lighting, there is RGB, I need it too. No. You don't. Natural lighting is a very professional way to fix this. Natural light looks cool because it's natural. Professional photographers, videographers constantly use it. And to make it clear, let's compare this natural light with studio lighting. Right now, I've closed the window and put only the softbox on this side. Notice how quickly we start losing details. That is that one light source is no longer enough. We need to turn on the filler light, perhaps we need to turn on a backlight, some kind of of an interior light to make the image more interesting. And only now we can say that it's starting to look good. So use natural light, don't be afraid of it, it's free. You just have to go to the video editor, make color correction and enjoy the result. But I get that not everyone can have the opportunity to film with natural light. Someone shoots in the basement and after all, if it's partly cloudy, at every turn you will have a jump in exposure, which is not cool. So you need a plan B and this is your studio lighting. And this is how ordinary interior lighting looks like in here and to be honest, it looks bad, we need to come up with something. And if you come down to the point with a creative chili, then you can make a cool result using only two light sources. For example, as I did in the apartment when I was in another city, it was already dark outside, I didn't have a professional lighting with me, so all I could use was one light bulb hanging from the ceiling and an RGB light. I sat down in front of this light bulb, getting warm lighting from above and light up the background with a bluer shade. As a result, we get both light and color contrast. And let's try the same thing here using this floor lamp with a light bulb and also an RGB RGB light. Yes, this is a more professional RGB light, but in fact you can go to a hardware store and buy an RGB light tape that costs something like 15 bucks and do just about the same thing. And this is what the image looks like where only two lights are used. This is an ordinary light bulb with a plastic bag and an RGB light that brightens up the background. A good solution when your budget is tight. And believe me, the audience will never think that you're highlighting yourself with a light bulb and a shopping bag. Creating eye-catching videos without mastering professional video editing apps is possible. Mobavi Video Editor Plus 2022 and the Notifications Effects Pack will help you achieve the desired look of your videos in just a few clicks. Mobavi Video Editor Plus is designed to save your time. Its interface is easy to master, all the tools and presets are there to help you get many operations done in a few clicks. The app doesn't require the latest top-of-the-line computer to run smoothly and its subscription format can give you access to all the features and updates that will be released in the following 12 months at a lower price. The recently released notifications effects pack will give you the opportunity to add engaging chat and notifications windows to your video projects. The titles and stickers from this pack can 
can fit almost any video and definitely may help you grab your audience attention. The one year subscription to Mobile Video Editor Plus 2022 and the notification spec will be available at 15% off by promo code BLOCK15. Feel free to use it or simply hit the link in the description to get right to the hot deal. But what if you still want to take a more professional light as the main one, what should you pay attention to? The first one is a dimmer so that you can change the brightness of your light. This may be important because the background of your studio can sometimes change some kind of a floor lamp, some other illuminator on the background. Then the brightness of the background may be different and therefore you need to have this flexibility to adjust your main light source to your background to make it look more organic. The maximum luminous power of your light should be about 10,000 lumen. It is very bright and this is more than enough for such home studios. The CRI should be equal to 95 or more. This is great, but in fact, starting from 90 and above is already a good indicator. Optionally, you can take a bicolor light. This means that sometimes you can make it warmer and sometimes colder. For example, this is 3200 Kelvin and this is 5600 Kelvin. But actually, in most cases, I use 5600 Kelvin, so it's not so critical. But if in your case, it is important to make a warm scene, then pay attention to the bicolor lights. And it's cool if your light has the balance mount because there are a lot of different boxes and filters for it, like this soft box that I have here, various modifiers, etc. And of course, pay more attention to the indicators and not to the brand itself, because a good brand makes high quality products for sure, but in practice, it does not affect the quality of the light itself so much if indicators are exactly the same. And it also happens that you bought a light, but for a softbox, well, the wallet is complaining so far, because even this softbox from Aperture costs about $250. Do you know what is better than Aperture? A shower curtain. Okay, maybe not better, but check out how soft and pleasing such a light looks. And the most important thing in such an installation is to keep in mind that the further the light source is from the curtain, the softer the light is. Yes, with a softbox you get a mobility and you can also focus the light, but anyway, it looks cool. And you may be surprised by the fact that such a set with a shower curtain is used even in professional productions. It is also extremely important to choose the right angle because now here's some shadow from the floor lamp behind me, the red floor lamp sticks out of my red hoodie, and in general the camera is too high. But if we move this camera a little bit in this direction and put the camera lower to the eye level, we will get a more interesting image because we have blue on one side, red on the other, we get a color contrast. Also the symmetry, we immediately focus on the speaker, this is much better than we had before. And place your camera to the eye level, a little above or a little below. You have about 30 degrees to place your camera. Everything that is very high or very low looks too extreme, too stylized and does not fit this video format. Therefore, in the same room, in the same setting, try different angles. Look at your room from the angle at which you have never looked at it before. Make different choices and choose the best one. Make your background more interesting by adding some object to the background, but do not mix it up with junk. It's different. Remove all unnecessary stuff and add something interesting. And it won't cost much. For example, this set of three plants will cost you about 10 to 15 bucks. Some kind of figurine, some kind of a clapperboard. All this is cheap, but adds individuality to the shot emphasizes the style of the creator. You cannot be happy with a good studio without a good microphone. Right now, I'm recording on the Rode VideoMic Pro Plus. It can be attached both to the camera and to the stand, but to get started, it's not necessary to use such a microphone. You can take an ordinary lav mic, which is inserted into your smartphone, clipped on clothes, and you get a very good sound. Or if you don't have a budget for a lavalier, just use your smartphone's voice recorder. Right now, I'm recording an audio on this smartphone and just take a listen, you can bet which one sounds better. All you have to do is to take the smartphone mount, put it on the table and record your video like this. If you don't like that your smartphone is in the shot, just put it on the table and keep on recording. The one thing that you should avoid is do not record the sound on your camera's built-in microphone. It is always terrible, there will be a loud echo, 
you should not do this. But the voice recorder of your smartphone may turn out to be a cool solution at the start. And of course, to get started, you can and you should use your smartphone's camera. In one of the videos, I compared a cinema camera with an iPhone 13's camera, and it's so incredible what smartphone cameras are capable of now. It will not take much time, and it will be simply impossible to differ one from the other. But even now, the smartphone's camera is more than enough for studio shooting, at least at the start. Most importantly, when shooting on a smartphone, use manual settings. There are different apps for this. For example, if you have Android, these are apps such as Open Camera, Manual DSLR Camera, Cinema FV5, ProCam X, and if you have iOS, then ProMovie or Filmic Pro, these are really good apps. I hope these ideas will help you to start or to continue creating your content faster. Do not find an excuse, just get started, you will definitely succeed. Check out the videos if you want to learn more about content creation, smash the like button if this video was helpful to you, and see you in the next one.